Right. Stand in the middle of my room. Go blade and sorcery. There we go. Alright, give that a welly. Loading game. Okay. Uh, do I have the chat on my hand? I do. I see I see Ilsa talking about butts because of course she is. Right. Okay, loading assets, loading categories, loading level. There we go. Spinny splash screen, which is very cool. Okay. Now, what's gone wrong here? Okay, no. Disable all of them. Yep. Proceed. Okay, and then... Back. Okay, play. Then select character. Play. Okay, I fixed it. Chat, can you hear me? Sorry, just as I hit the start stream button, I fucked up horrendously because on the main menu, there exists four options and as I picked up my controller, I accidentally fat-fingered the mods thing, which took it as a cue to basically install all of the, uh, uh, so I had like a shotgun mod, which, no, did it ever work? I can't remember. And some other mod that I can't identify. And I accidentally, oh, hang on a minute. So let me just get, get your eyeballs on the screen. Hang on. Oops, nope, put that away. Okay, player, done. Maximize, and then... Fuck, hard to do this with only one hand. Alright, give that a willy. Is my mouse cursor on the screen? It is, move it away. Alright, and then click this button, and that should, I hope, show you the screen. Alright. Put that away. Cool. Um, hi. So what was I saying? So yes, I accidentally uh, activated the mods that were no longer viable in this version, and then it was like, please restart your game. And also, you, uh, bear in mind, if you're doing the, the story progression, you've got mods installed. So I was like, fuck, and was racing to uninstall them. Right. Um, hi. Hi, everybody. So, um, yes, sorry for the, uh, so the last couple of days or so, I haven't really been streaming on the regular, uh, due to circumstances that I would explain shortly. Bad circumstances, um, good, bad and then good. So it, it's been a, it's been a, a week of, of very, very low lows and high highs. So it's been a very unstable week, and I'll tell you all about it soon, as people trickle in. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all okay. Right. I'm probably looking very ridiculous to anyone looking through the window. Hang on. Right, put my sword. So these are the crystals that I've recently unlocked. Now, how's the audio volume? One second. Can I make it do magic shit? Hang on. Hopefully it's okay. Let me know if the audio is too quiet or too loud. How was fishing, a uh, Hilt? I'll tell you all about it. Exciting. Fishing was weirdly exciting because I ended up, uh, as I explained um, in the whole fast stream last night, I ended up getting a catch of a lifetime, I think, maybe. It's a bit sad that that's true. I caught a fish that is very rare, and I don't know if I'll ever see it again. So, hang on. But I'll tell you more about it soon. Right. What's the one minute? Is that the in-game music? Not my phone, is it? No, no, we're fine. Right. Okay. Can I... Does it? <laughs> Hang on. It does! Neat. Okay, so for those unfamiliar with the changes made in Blade and Sorcery... Oh, uh, yeah, it is the music. So, the, the new 1.0 has introduced Crystal Hunt. Whereas before, this structure did absolutely nothing. Now... Throughout the levels, we can find these magic crystals, and these crystals will unlock your magical abilities that you normally got by default, but the magic abilities have been reworked rather sub substantially. So in addition to your, well, your slow motion ability is now the Mind Stone, which is this thing here. You've now got talents, which you can unlock. These little marbles, which let you sort of tweak and alter, well, basically alter your abilities and spec. It's very labyrinth, I love it. Um, so that's the Mind Stone. That's the, your ability to slow down time. The, uh, this is the Power Stone. So this is a new one. This lets me, and I, I've, I've only got the one move so far, but it lets you do like a fancy acrobatic type shit. For example, I can now 
What is this? Your arrows and daggers pierce through your enemies when you throw them. Or here, hitting someone with the bludgeoning weapon in the head stuns them. They clutch their head and they're dazed and they're not blocking anymore. This one, an ability between the power stone and the mind stone. It, so if you can block them, watch this. If you block their move, they are slowed down temporarily, letting you get a follow-up attack, essentially. Yeah. It's pretty damn cool. Right. I'm going to march forward and go and see if I can find another one of these stones. And, um... <laughs> on, on with the show. Oh, hang on. Also, one thing. I do have to keep things relatively time-boxed. There shouldn't be a problem with VR. My VR legs will only only let me go for about an hour and a half anyway. But I have a gentleman popping around from the letting agency. They'd like to do some repairs to the flat, which is nice. Um, I've got a bit of a problem. I've got like, um, I don't know what it's called, but you know at the edge of a carpet, when there's another section of carpet, which is like a lino? Is it lino? Lido? There's like a, like a kitchen flooring. There's a metal bar which is separating the carpet and the flooring and uh, normally it's screwed down. The screws have come loose and gone missing, so it's this enormous trip hazard. So a guy's coming in to screw it down properly along with some other basic repairs around the flat, basically. Right, let's go. So I'm gonna go to an outpost. You know what, we could actually do for money. So now that I've got the slowdown ability, we could actually try the town square. Right, what do I have on my chest? I've got, hang on. This healing potion, how much is left? Does it show me? Okay, it's full. Sweet. Ooh, it's a dagger. Ancient... I oh, see, that's putting it there, isn't it? What have I got there? I've got a tribal bow, but I've got to find ammunition as I go. Right. They finally do repairs after I confirm that I'm moving out, says Zeus. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, capitalism. Right. Let's go with this outpost. Yeah, sorry, I'll hold off on the town square. Let's keep it relatively uh, lighter. Outlaws or wild folk? Let's do... Let's do the outlaws. Right. So, yes. Uh, so, welcome. So, people are trickling in. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're all okay. Um, sorry, thank you for subbing. Hang on. Thank you, Martbot, Serenity, Jake the Dog. Uh, is it Film? I think it is. Or Flim? Thank you, Flim. And or HP and Lazarus. Thank you, all of you. Sorry, it's very hard to read the uh, read the thing through the. Uh, oops, hello. Right. Okay, so I've got a proper sword. All right. So yeah, hope everyone's good. Hope you're all good. Um, so the bungalow thing. Yeah. So I'll start with the bad, and then I'll start talking about the good. Hang on. Let me just go kill. In fact, killing people while talking about it's probably going to help me. Hang on. Fuck! Fucked up! Fucked up! Ouch. Slightly hurt. I was hoping that would be a, a better, more acrobatic grab, but it wasn't. Right. So, what's happened? So, for those unfamiliar, for the last year, pretty much the last year, I've been hoping to get a small house. And I can only thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for putting me in, into a position to maybe think about doing that. So thank you sincerely, everyone. So I found a... Whoopsie. I'm not actually on the ground. I'm sort of... Can we jump? I'm sort of awkwardly floating. Hang on. Uh. <laughs> there we go. So I found a bungalow. If you're not familiar with the term, a bungalow is basically a very small house with only one floor. So it's pretty much ground floor, then it's the roof. Here in the UK, it's typically associated with the elderly. Why a bungalow? Well, I didn't want something too big because me on my on my one on my lonesome, I'd never be able to maintain it if it were anything, you know, larger. Besides, houses in the UK are shocking, shockingly expensive. Come on then. Locked. Come on. Locked. Then kick. So, I found this bungalow that I was interested in. Now, I started booking surveys. I was bringing in surveyors uh, for the sake of checking the structure. How was it? There are some problems with this bungalow, uh, but all of them are solvable, which is the good thing. So, the problems are to do with 
um, some modifications that have been made, which have sort of accidentally undone. There's something called cavity wall installation. Insulation. Basically, imagine imagine a building made out of two like um, single layers of brick, and then in the middle is an, is an intentional gap, and the two sides are being held together by these metal pins, right? And so, in the UK, lots of buildings have this. It's very, very standard. The metal changes over the years. Initially, it was just iron, but then over the years, it became like, I don't know, like stainless steel. And I'm not sure what it's made out of now, but essentially, um, stuff that doesn't corrode. Hang on. Come on. Now, so this building, like many buildings here, has cavity wall insulation. Now. In order to um, save, uh, to keep the keep the heat in, so the, the air gap itself is is good at thermal insulation. But the the, bed, the the sorry, I should have explained. The reason why this is used is because if rain or just moisture in general permeates the external brickwork, it can't jump the gap. It's got no way of getting through. So the internal wall is fine and dry, and the water will never get in. In addition, there is a plastic layer, or there's some sort of layer which is put against the, like, so imagine the lowest two bricks. They've got like a waterproof layer here, and then the next set of bricks. So this stops the damp getting in from the outside, this stops the damp getting in from underneath. Now, what's happened is that some bright spark has made a modification where they've basically put, um, they've basically put a, an extension here. There's a brick extension. Now, what they've done, they've only made it out of one skin of brick. And you think, okay, that's fine. That's not a problem, because it's hitting the outer wall. The problem is, 20 years... Well, I don't know how many years ago, someone has backfilled this with synthetic wool for insulation. So what happened was, this started getting damp, this, this extension. This started getting damp. This started filling with damp. So now, the surveyor comes along, beep boop with his little uh, monitoring tool, and it goes high moisture on the internal wall. So it's a case of, oh, fuck. So in order to fix this, I'm told it's fixable. What we've got to do is we've got to poke a hole, pull out the insulation, stick in some sort of, like, gun, which is going to squirt, like, a waterproof layer. There's, like, some, some waterproof gel that we can squirt all... So where the, where the connection is, essentially, so that the water can't permeate in. Then we backfill the insulation and we're done. So it's, it's, not, it's not big. It's not, apparently, it's not big at all. It's, it's going to cost money, of course, but it's not, it's not like the structure is flawed. Um, does that make any sense? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Thank you, demonstration, for the wall here. So, <sighs> the, these are the sorts of problems that, the, that are in the building, and these are the sort of things that for the last mu- like, well, year or so I've been trying to negotiate with the seller to have some money off, because I've got to spend... I don't know how much money, but I've got some estimates. I do know how much money, but um, it's like I've got to spend cash fixing this problem. Now, what happened was... (laughs) Hello. The solicitor... The guy who's meant to handle the legal end of it was very, very slow. So I've got a solicitor, the seller has a solicitor, and what happened over the course of the year while all, all of this was going on is that the solicitor did a, in my opinion, quite poor job of communicating what was going on. Through quite a lot of this process, I had no idea what was happening. And the whole idea behind a solicitor is that they're meant to guide you. So I would be sitting here going, is something happened? Like, what's going on? Like, what what do we do now? And just get ghosted. I would send emails, ghosted. I would send voicemail messages, ghosted. I I I was just trying to find out what's going on. And for a very long time, things did not progress. So as the buyer, I was a little clueless. And, and rudderless, as the seller, the person that I'm buying from, she was getting more and more frustrated because nothing was moving. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Hang on. What are my other abilities? I've got my telekinesis. Oh, shit, something just hit me. An arrow just hit me from behind, I think. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Missed. Go with my sword. OK, 
Okay, my focus bar is still going, so long as I've got a kill. <sighs> so, long, uh, yeah, so long waits is my point. Long, long waits with very little communication. So I wasn't entirely sure what was going on. Now, over the course of time, over the course of 90 days, both buyer and seller were getting ever more fr frustrated. And then I got a message. My solicitor, this was last week, was going on holiday, their scheduled holiday. And I thought, okay, fine. And the solicitor said, I would like to get this sale done before he goes. And I was like, okay, that's, that seems good to me. And I kind of, and maybe people will have a go at me here. Maybe, you know, my mum's not happy with me for doing this. I kind of sort, sort of felt that that was a good deadline. If he could get it done before 90 days, good. But otherwise, you know, I need to, I need to move on. 90 days is too long. My tenancy has already expired in this place, so I've got to do something because uh, my, my landlord is getting ever more frustrated with me for doing nothing. So I said, okay, 90 days seems good. Uh, that's my deadline. Anyway, the reason I'm so stressed is that I got a message on Wednesday last week saying from my solicitor, he's going on holiday now. He's boarding a plane. And there's no one taking over. There was no one taking... Oh, there's some loot. Essentially, for some reason, n there was no follow-up plan. So they didn't get it done, and then they were leaving to, like, America, the west coast of America. That's an eight-hour difference behind. <sighs> so, angry <laughs> uh, is only really just starting how I felt. I felt like... So this thing had dawdled for 90 days, and now he's... Bye. You know, he's, he's gone, he's leaving, and no one's taking over. Whoop, that didn't work. So I was angry. The seller was angry. Nobody was happy whatsoever. The, the uh, estate agent was angry. And there was lots of pointed questions of, well, what's going on? Does, has this sale fallen apart now? Anyway, so I'm just trying to remember in order the order of events what happened next. Hang on. The solicitor started communicating from America to try and answer the last few questions that were left for the sale. And eventually, at the very last minute, and the deadline that sorry, the deadline was actually Friday, last Friday. I said, okay, that's it, green, green light, go, you know, do the sale, do it, do it, just go. Let's do this. Missed. Take his blade instead. No, 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 you don't. So, finally, with all questions done and with a solicitor working remotely, uh, at the final few minutes of the deadline last Friday, I gave authorization to complete the sale. So, sorry, to exchange. Um, how this works when it comes to buying and selling is that there'll be contracts drawn up um, by solicitors and then there's something called exchange, which is the, the literal act of exchanging the signed contract and the deposit. And what happens is, you've got, let's say for example, you've got three buyers in a row. This chuckle fuck wants to move into this guy's house. This chuckle fuck wants to move into this guy's house. And I want to move into that guy's house. All of us have solicitors in a chain. And what happens is, me, as the back of the chain, because I'm in a flat, I'm renting, there's nothing behind me. My solicitor exchanges to this guy with the 10%. That 10% deposit is exchanged to this guy because all of us are using the 10% deposit to pay the next guy down the line. So for this reason, it has to be the same day. It has to be. You can't wait because what if something goes wrong? The sale could fall apart and all of a sudden you've got to send the money back and it's a big mess apparently. So I have to, my guy has to start. Where is my guy? He's in Los Angeles. He's eight hours behind the UK. So by the time he wakes up, this chuckle fuck, this chuckle fuck, and this chuckle fuck are all leaving the office. 
Sorry, I'm sounding... Yeah, I'm, yeah. So, because this wasn't handed down to anyone in the UK, because he's gone on holiday, my solicitor, the whole thing just stagnated. It just, like, so Friday happened, no exchange. Monday happened, no exchange. Tuesday happened, no exchange. Tuesday evening arrived, the seller pulled out. Deal's off. My God, I was so angry. You wouldn't believe it. I was just, I, 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 it's been a long time since I've been that enraged. By just, and, and to make matters worse, sorry, I'm whinging, I apologize. Um, to make matters worse, these, sorry, this solicitor and this, uh, my solicitor, they were like, oh, hi, um, I'm trying to call you on the phone, but you're not getting through. Oh, hi, I'm trying to call you on the phone. And I'm sitting here getting ever more angry, thinking, are you two using, like, send, someone send a video conferencing link, like Zoom or, or Teams or something, or uh, I don't know what people use these days. Like, send a scheduled video conferencing link for this time, log in via your webcams. You're not physically trying to pick up a phone, are you? But uh, anyway, so these two were doing a very bad job at communicating and adjusting to time zones. <sighs> anyway, so Wednesday arrived, the sale fell through. After a year, after a whole year of surveys and estimates and back and forth negotiations, it all fell apart because two fucking solicitors couldn't figure out how to use Zoom. And on Wednesday, I was just, I was so, I, I don't know, I don't know the word for it. I, I, not, it wasn't low insofar as mood, it was enraged. I was on the edge of violence. I was just so angry I didn't eat. I, I was just pacing around my room, just unbelievably stressed and angry. Anyway, finally, at around two, sorry, I'm just standing still, um, at around two in the afternoon, I got a message. It was a message from the estate agent. They had gotten through to the seller and they had convinced her. They had convinced her to give it one last go. One last day. And so, I got a phone call at around four o'clock, I think, uh, from my solicitor in Los Angeles. And it was, hi, um, is this still on? I'm just checking if this is still on. And I was like, Yes, you have about 60 minutes. Like, this is it. Like, as in seller and buyer have been so enraged by not only the lapse in deadline, not only the lack of communications, but like, so you got 60 minutes. Like, that, that's it. This is the end of the day. And so finally, within the last 10 minutes, no joke, the last 10 minutes of the, of the deadline, the exchange was made. So the exchange was made to him. He quickly made the exchange to him. He made the exchange to him. It's done. So now what happens is that there's something called completion. So now that all the contracts are exchanged, there's like a, there's a wait, there's a few weeks wait, and then what happens is completion happens, which is a similar thing, but it's like, okay, this guy gets the keys. This, no, hang on, sorry, I haven't got that right, have I? That guy gets the key? It probably, I think it goes the other way. So it, it basically, it's, it's the opposite. So it's the actual physical day of moving, where everyone's booked the moving vans and everyone gets the keys. So that's a few weeks away. It could still fall apart, but if it does now, it's really bad because the, the person who makes it fall apart can get sued by the others, if that makes sense. But my God, so I, this was Wednesday evening when I normally stream and I just, I broke down. I had a mental, I had a minor mental breakdown and I just, I just, it was like, you know, like you're just hanging on to so much anger and it just, it was over. It's done. The deal is done. And I just broke down and I just started drinking alcohol and eating strawberry ice cream. And I just, I, <laughs> I was just, you know, like the, 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 the sitcom where it's like the sobbing girlfriend is just you know, eating ice cream from the tub. It, I just, I was so done on Wednesday. Um, and so on Thursday, I went fishing because I was like, I can't deal with this. Go fishing. Just, I need to go fishing. I need to not think about, I was just so stressed out. Um. Uh, this week, sorry, I keep saying last week, sorry, this was this week. So yeah, that's, that's what happened. So it's been an extremely challenging week. Um, and I, I really hope that if any of you ever go through anything like this, it goes way smoother than it did for me. Because, it yeah. Yeah, I know, silencing Sammy. I, it just, it's just so, you, you know, you just see red and like this, yeah. Ah. <sighs> I'm better now. The, the dust is settled. Everything's settled. I'm okay.
But uh, it's been uh, it's been just so so just tense this week. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, do I still have the chat? Are you still with me? Hang on. Do, 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 do. I think the chat might have just crashed on me. The chat's moving, but it's not moving in my hand. Yeah, sorry, I think the chat's crashed. Hang on. Sorry, I'll try and get you back. I can't see what you're saying. Hang on. Uh, have you crashed? Have I crashed? Yes, it crashed. Sorry, bear with me. Engine has crashed. Please restart. Sorry, for those joining the stream, I'm just uh, uh, talking about my extremely stressful um, first foray into um, uh, into trying to get a small property. Um, and it was awful. It was so bad. And I was just... I was, yeah. One minute. There we go. Connect again. Left controller. There you go, chat. I can see you again. All right. Oh, oh, thank you, Hactar. Thank you for saying so, Hactar. Thank you for the congrats. But God, I w yeah, I don't wish it on anybody. Genuinely, I don't wish this. Uh, don't wish this week on anybody. Hello, chat. <sighs> right. There we go. Uh, so I just. Something needs to be done to that solicitor. It was a bad review or something. It was it was so bad. Like, I, you know, props to them for doing it on their holiday. But at the same time, they should have handed it over to someone else, I assume. Uh, that's what the um, estate agent said. They said, normally, you know, you should hand it over to someone else in the in the office. Ooh, is that... I think I can sell this. Is that valuable? I think so. don't think that's valuable. <sighs> right. Thank you, Ilsa. Hi there, Ilsa. Alright. <laughs> what did I binge drink? It was, um... <laughs> it was fucking, like, mint-flavoured Baileys or something. So I had mint-flavoured Baileys and strawberry-flavoured ice cream. I woke up the next day like, oh, God, I can't, I'm so hungover. And it was around five in the morning, so I was loading the stuff to go fishing. I was just like, oh, I <laughs> <laughs> I went to go take some painkillers. It's like, where's the cocodamol? I can't even. I, I, need, I need something strong. Uh, yeah, just relax a little heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over now. It's over now. <sighs> yeah, so then. Hello. Be careful. Boop. What's on your mind? A oh, sword tip, that's what. Hello. Oops. <laughs> Fucking hell. I could do with your... Hang on. I could do with some arrows. Can I borrow an arrow? Come on. Give me an arrow. Thank you. Yeah. Run off. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> can, I, can I borrow one of those? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Thank you. Is this alive? Hmm. Right. <laughs> uh, VR is so much fun. Sorry, just reading the chat. Zoo've got to s stay on the solicitor's ass to complete the whole thing. Uh, yeah. What's the next step, Zoob? So now it's just wait. It's 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 a, it's a case of waiting. So there's a several week <coughs> delay where everyone in the chain gets the moving van that's ready and uh, gets building insurance and that sort of thing. So now there's just a mandatory wait. Um. Well, that's, sorry, that's not strictly true. Sometimes there is no wait. Apparently, sometimes you can just go immediately, but obviously it's a big chain, so everyone's got stuff they need to sort out. Right. Hmm. Um, so, yesterday, though, yesterday was fun. I snuck off to go fishing in the morning, so sorry for the lack of stream in the morning. Uh, I went over to a lake in the south of England, and I got a little bit miffed because I I started driving to this fishing lake. 
And then when I got there, there were just... Um, so there was a huge traffic jam for miles, and then the reason for the traffic jam was that they were doing roadworks. And I looked at the thing, and I want, I thought, okay, if I'm, if I'm going to get through the roadworks, I've got to go all the way around. It's, it's going to take me like an hour <laughs> to get to get to where I wanted to go. So I thought, oh fuck it, I'll just go to the other one. So I drove to a different fishing lake, one that I don't go to that often. So I found myself quietly sitting on a fishing lake. Ah, it's over. There we go. And um, and there was only one other person on the lake, so it was quite nice. I had most of it to myself. And so I was using prawns. So I got some cooked prawns from Asda. And uh, I, I, was, I was doing float fishing as well. So I had a little float and I was just sitting on a peaceful, idyllic, idyllic looking lake. Crystal, some cash, a map piece that I need, and a goblet. All right. Ooh, an egg. An apple and a skull. <laughs> right. Not sure why I grabbed the skull, but here we are. So, sorry, what's that? What do you have for lunch today, Sky Fireform? Are you asking what? What do you have for? Oh, what am I having for lunch? Um, probably just get some pasta. Or some whole wheat pasta. I need to uh, do a better job with my uh, with my diet. So it's whole wheat for the sake of my heart. Right. Anyway, so yesterday I was fishing, and um, and so I've repeated. So I told this story last night when I was doing some hold fast. But something rather exciting happened. Prawns as bait, yes, indeed, Urban. So cooked prawns. Um, no spam. I did have a tin of spam, uh, spam Z, but I decided to use the prawns instead. I wanted to see if there was any perch, which is a type of predatory fish that moves in a shoal. I wanted to see if any of them were in the lake, and they love prawns. Anyway, didn't get any perch. So instead, I caught a tench, which is a shy fish, so I'm rather glad that I got one. Okay, here we go. So I've got the three map pieces. Let's go sell my stuff at the shop. So I caught a tench, and I was just uh, continuing my fishing, and I think it was around 11 in the morning. Just before 11, because the stream saw it, and I was, uh, the, the lurkers saw it. And then something, uh, something caught the line, and I was just sitting there fishing, and it was, it was weird, it was really strange. The way that it was moving just didn't feel like it, it, something was odd about this catch. And as it started to come on in, it looked very strange from the surface. It's it, it sort of like, like a very thin profile. And I thought, ooh, could this be like a pike? Have I caught a pike? And then I got my big net. Hello. Welcome. No formalities here. Just wipe your boots first. Got a bunch of stuff to sell. Do you think you'd buy the skull? Hang on. No. <laughs> Loads of loot. Holy shit, hang on. Egg. Egg. <laughs> He's not, he is not impressed. Oh shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Magic. Accidental. There we go. Just remember, money doesn't buy you happiness. It buys you everything else. Man. Right. So what should we go with? Wow, he's got new stock, hasn't he? I rather like these little... Yeah, look at these. Oh, they're so expensive. I'll never be able to afford these. Fucking throwing ni knives and shit. Is that a javelin? Tier 2? Hmm. I see. So I'm getting into the Tier 2 stuff now. So Tier 1. Uh, tier 1. Is that the same sword as the one I've got? Oh. Hang on. Tribal bow. Oh, I could get, could get some arrows. How much, the, how much for the basic arrows? Tier 2 arrows. Ah, oh, expensive. I suppose it is a lot of arrows. Um, little buckler shield. Tier 1 dagger. Uh, There's a staff, but it's very expensive. I oh, see, that's the javelin that I bought in initially, wasn't it? Hmm. Are you ready to check out? Just place your items in that orange cloth. I can't. It's a nice little. It's a nice dagger, actually. Shame it's so expensive. Can I afford it? I can afford it. It's a nice long dagger. Hmm. Yeah. I'd like to buy this dagger. Knife in the dark. I'll never see it coming. 
Thank you, sir. Okay, deal. Oh, got that for sale as well. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So, as I was bringing in this big fish, or this, this unknown fish, I got my big net and I, I sort of um, managed to scoop this thing into it. And then I jumped back in shock because it wasn't, well, it was a fish that I caught, but it was in fact an eel. It was a European eel. And it was about, like it was about this big. It was like, it was pretty, it was, it was 69 centimeters, which is quite nice. But it was about this thick and it was like a snaky motherfucker like this. Now, just a, I suppose, yeah, this is roughly the size of my cradle, which is the, it's like the netting. It's like you, when you catch a fish, what you do, you lift it out, and without putting it down on the ground, where it's going to scrape off its uh, scales, you put it in this soft cradle. And then, like, the cradle has this, like, um, netting that you can put over it to keep the, 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 the fish in the dark and calm. And then, because it's in the cradle and it, it's got its weight lying down sideways, it can't easily move around, so you can quite easily get in there and remove the hook. So, there's no weight on its mouth, you're not hurting its gills or its eyes, and you can just go, bloop, take out the hook and then lift, the, well, you can lift the whole cradle if you want, it's got handles, and um, weigh it, take a picture, put it back in the water, it's all waterproof. Anyway. So this was my first ever eel, and it was it was curled up. It like it was 69. It fit in the cradle, but it was like whoa. And so I didn't know what to do with this fucking thing. Yes, it was my first eel, uh, Pingu. Every time I tried to remove the hook, it would just go. It would just like start squirming away. Like I'd go for its head, and it would just like turn, do a U-turn, and now it was over here. So I was like, then it would go over there. I was like, would you stop it? Like, it, it wasn't restrained <laughs> in the same way that a normal fish is. So I start, I bring up my phone, and I'm looking at my phone going, what the fuck are you? And I'm like, da -da -da, like, eels UK. That's not it. That's not it. And then I went, wait a minute. And it said, European, it said yellow eel. And apparently a yellow eel is a life cycle of the European eel. What happens is, they're out in the ocean, they spawn, and then they're like reverse salmon in that they live in the ocean, but they, they, they come back to fresh water, swim up the rivers, where they turn into eelings, which is a different type. It's like a juvenile, e juvenile eel. And then as they're fattening up in the, in the fresh water for like decades, they turn into a yellow eel. So that's what I'd call. Eventually, once they're old enough and mature enough, they transform into a silver eel, which is like a much darker coloration, and then they go back out into the ocean. They travel on this huge migration all the way to off the coast of America. So they do the same thing that turtles do. So when turtles hatch on the beach, they go to this seaweed sea. Like there's this patch of seaweed in the Atlantic Ocean, and the eels go there too. There's lots of cover. So they spawn, and then I don't know if they die, but all I know is that they spawn, and then the cycle continues. Here's the fun part. This thing, this eel that I just caught, is an endangered species. Critically endangered species. Because apparently, due to man-made um, hydroelectric, hydroelectric dams, habitat change, and uh, general overfishing, because apparently this eel is delicious, this thing has had its numbers depleted from about 95 to 98%. So, there I was, with this information, going, oh fuck, and I, I was desperately trying to remove the hook from it, and I, it was not happy, it was like twirling and moving, at one point its tail slid onto my arm, and I was like, ah! So I was trying to get it into the fucking water. This thing wasn't hissing, but it was going, <laughs> it was making this weird noise, I was like, stop it, stop it. I didn't know if it had teeth. Turns out, yes, it does. It does has to, it does have teeth. So I was trying to get <laughs> trying to get the fucking hook out, so I can get it back in the water. Turns out, I didn't have to panic that much. What I didn't know is that they can actually breathe out of the water for a really long time. Not seconds, not minutes, not hours, days. The thing has a really robust lung system. It can breathe out of the water for days, so long as it's wet. Anyway, so I, I succeeded, I got it off the mat, I got it unhooked, I got it back in the water as quickly as I could. And then later I was speaking to the bailiff and I was like, I just got a fucking eel. And he was like, oh yeah, so they're not stocked, obviously. So they didn't put them in the lake. What happens is the farmland floods in the area because it's all low, low to the um, water table. 
and then they basically slide across land from the rivers to get into the lakes. That's how they do. Eels do that. They're like, um, they're like snakes. So this thing has slid in from the river... I can't remember the name of the river. Is it Ada? Ooze? Something. There's, like, there's, a, there's a river system uh, here in the, in, the, in the UK. So there's this huge like, tributaries everywhere. It's massive rivers. So it's come in from one of these tributaries from this river and it's slid into the fishing lake and has presumably been there for decades because I don't know how old a 69 centimeter eel is. Someone might have to Google it to tell me. But um, yeah, it was quite a unique catch. And considering that they are endangered, that's probably the only eel I'm ever going to catch. I, I don't know, I assume. So yeah, it was quite special, I think. I had a special moment with a critically endangered creature. Yeah. Well, it's fine, Pingu. Uh, sorry, these rivers are gigantic. Sorry, people know I'm in Brighton, and like, so. Here's Brighton. Here, here is the Ada. Here is the U. The massive, like, like, fucking. They go all the way up to like London. They're huge. <laughs> it's not that much of a stretch to suggest that. Yeah, you know, I'm fishing in one of these rivers. Oh dear. Did I at least take pictures? I did prototype. One of the mods might have the picture floating around. Yeah. Hang on. Props. Sorry, am I missing? I've got my dagger with me. Sorry, let's get fighting. I'm, I'm babbling. So yeah, that was yesterday. So I caught a critically endangered eel. And I was texting my brother Lamram going, hey, you may have the size record for the carp, motherfucker, but have, where's your critically endangered creature, <laughs> motherfucker? I'm winning. That counts as winning, obviously. It's going to turn up with a white rhino or something. Okay, you cheeky, cheeky motherfucker. Hang on. Oh, dear. So, yeah. Um... Sorry, for those joining, I hope you're okay. I was just describing that yesterday, uh, due to overwhelming stress, I decided to go fishing, and I had a lovely day, and I caught an endangered uh, fish, an endangered eel. Oh no, I left my sword behind. Oh, never mind. Oh no, wait, is that it? No. Right. Oh yeah, I haven't actually checked out that place. Does that go anywhere, do you reckon? I could always give it a look. Hang on. <laughs> Up we go. Aha. Oh wow, look, they're properly armoured now. Ah, oh, this could be a pickle. So previously all of the bandits were not armoured. Now they apparently are. Which is going to be a problem because I won't be able to slit his throat. That is, however, quite a nice sword you have there. That is a nice sword. No, oh, no, no, don't you alert like your friends! Nice. So where does that go then? Is that just a dead end? I would ignore it for now. Hang on. Alright, there's some actually outside this time. I might need to go check my phone in a minute because there could be a message from the repair man. Hello. She's still awake? Not anymore. Right. Can you take his armor? Afraid not, uh, Dak. Dak Haltor, I think? One second. Where's my phone? So I just need to check my message there. Was that a message from. The repair bloke? Uh, no, it was not. It's just a message saying that you've got apps that you haven't used in a while. Alright. Hang on. Oh. 
So for those unfamiliar with the game, uh, this is one of the newly added 1.0 levels where instead of just fighting bad guys randomly, I now have to find a crystal to give me to give myself magic abilities. <laughs> so, so, complete the dungeon, find the crystal. Again, I do need to be careful because the enemies are a bit beefier now. Their armor is going to make them tricky to take out. Hang on. Uh, what's that? Mega says, I helped my brother cleaning out his garden in the 29 degree heat. He had six large sleepers, huge logs used in railroads that you had to get out. I'm not used to that level of weight. Oh, shit. Well, rest up, Mega. Hope, hope you're okay. Right. Ooh, there's one of them. Yeah, she's, she's got mostly boiled leather. She should, however, be vulnerable to... That. He saw me. Come on. Fuck. Shit. Dropped it. Don't drop it. Oh, that's a block. Miss. Jump. No, you don't. Oh wait, still got this sword. Wait. Ooh, two daggers. Of the same flavour. Put this here. Get rid of that. Stuck in him. There we go. Oh, sorry, another message ping on my phone. Might be my brother. Uh, no, it's my mum. Hang on. What does my mum want? Uh, my mum... Oh, she's uh, looking into a question that I asked about banking stuff. Right. Can you decapitate people? Yes, you can, King, but I must admit, I'm a little bit confused. It used to be easier to do. I wonder if the change in 1.0 <laughs> means that you've got to use a certain magical power, like fire, maybe? Hang on. Whew. Previously, you just whack them really hard and the head comes off. Hang on. Maybe it's swim. There we go. Oh. Uh. <laughs> How does this work, then? Do I? No, hang on. Do I? This gets me nauseous really quickly. Vertical movement. Right. Hi there, Messi. Hi there indeed, Messi. Grandkids? No, mercifully, my, my mum is no longer harassing me about that. When are you going to get a girlfriend? Because obviously she just... Oh, look, this is new. Cool. She's no longer harassing uh, me about that because presumably she's given up. But also, my brother <laughs> Lamram has given her grandkids. So now it's less of a priority. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit. Keep resting my hand there and pulling out the blade. Huh. Cool. Huh. There we go. Oh shit. Careful, 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 careful. Careful. Watch it. Ooh. Let's be cautious. Let's not die. How does one. Huh. Have I fucked up? Am I dead? If I had fire, I could get out of this situation. Are there handholds? Do I grab the plant? Do I go this way? Presumably if I touch the water, I die. I don't know. There we go. Uh, there 
we go. Up we go. All right. Back up we go. Is that where we're going? All right, careful now. Ooh, all, all this vertical motion is going to make me very sick. Ah, oh, damn. If I had my gravity abilities, this would be easier. Is there not like a rope bridge or something? Do I just leap? What's that down there? Hmm. Hi there, jungle. Hi there, indeed. Hang on. Guess I just leap. Fuck, okay. Ha! <laughs> Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! Down there, I guess, and then we climb. Let's go. Huh. Ooh. How's my health? My health is okay. Look at that. Enemies over there. I see. Well, we'll, we'll just take the land route that way. Huh. Up we go. Huh. So yeah, for those joining, I hope you're okay. Please know that I'm working on Helldivers 2 bullshittery, and I should have it done in probably about a week. I'm on 8 minutes something out of 10, so it's going fine. It's due to enter quality assurance soon. If you're one of the patrons or the Twitch subscribers, you'll be getting first dibs on it as soon as it's ready. Hang on. What's their patrol path? There's another one close to the edge, unless that is the one close to the edge. Let me just get down. My stealth improves, apparently. Ooh, big crystal. No, that probably is the one up against the edge. Fuck. So long as I'm crouched, my stealth should be high. Does it really matter? Probably not. Just go kill him. Right. Where's the other dagger? Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Fuck. Didn't work. <laughs> Fuck. You're a big boy. It's a lot of armor you're wearing. Come on, hang on. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn it! What the fuck? Damn it! Damn it! Nice try. Mm mm. Come on. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Alright. Put that away. Dagger. Dagger. Right. One second. Hi there, Dodge. Hi there, indeed. Yes, uh, so the last topic in the title that I haven't talked about. So, according to Twitteru this morning, when I started the stream, here in the United Kingdom, it appears to be the Day of the Flying Ants. This is the day that all of the young queens take flight, so many in fact, so many millions, that they actually appear on the British radar, so the military radars. So, they take to the skies where they meet with the male ants who are much, much smaller, they're very, very tiny, they almost look like thin wasps. The males die and the queens then land, pull their wings off where they look like big fat ants or big, like small beetles, and then they'll scurry across the ground to try and find somewhere to dig. So, today, presumably, maybe, if you would like to... St might I recommend getting a pot with some soil and scooping up one or maybe more, in different pots, of these ants. Why? Because now's the day that you can start your own ant farm, if you wish. And it's not complicated at all. If you're not familiar with the process, all you need... So, is just start with the pot. But order some test tubes, some glass test tubes, some cotton wool, and some distilled water. 
Hang on. How's it work? I can't read it. There we go. Neo Mystical Collection invoice to be paid within 30 days. <laughs> What's this? Chance inscriptions. That's an invoice to be paid. 9,850 DU. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, so, so you can order some test tubes and some water and some cotton wool, and then you can gently... So if you Google test tube setup, you'll see how it works. It's basically distilled water, and then you push down some cotton wool to hold the water back, so it's got wet cotton wool, and then you put the queen ant, so very gently just put the queen ant in, and then on the other side, to cap the end of it, put more cotton wool. So the queen will be trapped inside this, like, say, a centimetre, two centimetre long gap, where she's got shelter, she's got uh, water, she doesn't need food, so that when the queens take flight today, they don't need food because they've already been eating, they're full of protein. And then, you can just, over the next few weeks, just watch the queen ant build her colony. You'll watch her lay eggs, you'll watch the eggs hatch into larva, which are these little maggot looking things, they're kind of gross to be honest, and then they will pupate into little uh, cocoons, and then they'll, they'll sort of wrap silk around themselves, and then they'll hatch into little baby worker ants, or full-fledged worker ants. So if you're interested in doing this, today is the day, presumably, unless it's like different in your local area. And again, if you get bored, you can just release them, no biggie. Oh wow, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> oh god, do I have to swim? Is that what that's telling me to do? That's unnerving. So that's the door. <laughs> Do I really have to swim? Oh, Jesus. I'm not so sure I want to, but is that what I have to do? Is there a boat? Okay. Hmm. Sorry, just reading the chat. Okay. I guess I just jump and swim then. Here we go. Ha! Woo! Oh god, that's horrible. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that at all. How do I go up? How do I go up? Get me up. Get me up. Get me up. Please. <laughs> oh, it's drowning simulator. Oh, this is awful. Oh, this is actually awful. Oh, that's... <laughs> I don't know how to swim. There we go. Do not like at all. Vah. Okay. <laughs> right, gent no, oh, there we go. Oh, that's genuinely unsettling. Right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim. Okay, come on, swim. What's going on? Come on, swim up. There's like a delay on my hands, it's weird. Oh god, that's actually really, I don't like that at all. Oh god, give me up, give me out. Oh, that's horrifying. Yeah, really, really horrifying. Ah, <laughs> fuck. Oh god. Okay. Nah, did not like that at all. Hope we never have to do that again. Right. Oh, what happened? Stuck on the rock. Right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was really stressful. Uh, okay. Are we near the end of the labyrinth, maybe? Oh, I'm actually probably sweating now. That was really unnerving.
Hmm. Weird. Fuck. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Get rid of that one. Oh, hello. No, you don't. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that didn't work. Back up, back up, back up, back up. He's gonna smack. Move! My feet stuck. Damn it, my foot stuck. Bear with me. Hang on. What am I. <laughs> He's like, no. Get down the hole. Be with you in a second. Fucking. I'm stuck. My foot is proper stuck. Hang on. What if I grab the terrain as if I'm trying to climb? Hang on. Without headbutting my desk. Grab the terrain. My character is stuck. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Uh, there we go. Uh, what if I physically walk to the other side over here? Am I still stuck? Hang on. Walk all the way to the edge of my play space. Uh, am I moving? My control, yeah, it's not dead. It's not disconnected either. Oh, hi there, Swat Knight. Oh, hang on, let me just stand here for a second. My air con's here. Oh. Can I, like, try to, like, convince the game that my model's in another position, maybe? Walk over here, as close to my desk as I can. Right? Can I? Hmm. Do the, oh yeah, good shout, the dagger jump. Aha. Uh -huh. Hang on. Let's step back here. Does that get me unstuck? Just get me on like a different level of the terrain. Come on. No. Come on. It's annoying. What if I just walk? Will it let me fall? There we go. Okay, am I free? No. Is it? Is it just bugged? Does my keypad still have power? It does. It must do. <gasps> like I can't walk anymore. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Are we walking? Ah, oh, we're free. Weird. There we go. How very strange. Ooh. Some stuff to steal. I'll take that. Uh, Swat Knight, I hope you're very well. Uh, I don't know how, if you've been watching recently, Swat Knight, but yesterday I went fishing and I caught an, uh, an, a critically endangered type of fish called a European eel. Uh, it was about 69 centimetres long. Nice. And uh, I ca caught it and released it. And, um, yeah, I had, like, a, a nice little photo of, uh, of this really weird fucking long eel that I got. I went carp fishing. Oh, wait, we're just back up here. I went carp fishing and didn't catch a single carp. Instead, I just caught an eel <laughs> and a tench. Right. This way? Probably this way. Um, additionally, other news is that the extremely stressful negotiations and sale of a bungalow, a small house that I was hoping to get, has finally concluded. And by the looks of things, I think I've got it, which is fantastic. Um, there's still a lot of stressful things left to do, notably some damage to the building which has to get repaired, so I've got to bring in some experts to do that. Okay, here's the final, yeah, we're here. But I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that the worst of it, of the stress is behind me. Alright. <laughs> Let's go this way. So what's the time? I do need to watch the time carefully because a gentleman is coming to the flat uh, very soon. In about 40 minutes 
in order to uh, repair something. There's a trip hazard on the carpet. There's a metal bar that connects the carpet to the li lino in the kitchen and uh, and the bathroom. And the screws are missing, so it, cre it makes a trip hazard that's got to get fixed. There we go. Okay, third boss battle. So I did this a couple of times before. All right. Thank you, Ilsa. Yeah, it's been miserable. Right, so that's my long sword. Daggers. I know now that there are arrows up there that I can get, and I will, because it's going to make this easier. So long as I don't get killed by... Does it have a name? That fucking Smashy McSmash face. All right, here we go. Let's go, then. Right. Let's do it. Let's tango. Those are the weak points on him. Okay, careful. Here comes a rock. Dive. Missed. Careful, careful, careful. Whoop. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. Shit, he's gonna do a magic. No, jump. Okay, can I get the other one? Fuck. No. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, that's new. He can do a lightning attack. Wow, I'm really fucked up. Didn't know he could do that. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, careful. Wrong direction. We're fine. Heal. Oh, fuck, that's it. I'm out. You kidding? I'm out. Okay, don't get hit. Oh look, what's that? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay, so they do get tougher. They do get much tougher. Right. Don't underestimate him. Do I still have my bow? Did I just drop it? Fuck! I need the bow. What happened to the bow? There. Don't let him hit me. Okay. Uh, I need to, so I can break that. Break, wait. No, I see, he's different. Okay, so, go up here first. <laughs> okay, if you can do that range attack, I could be <laughs> fucked if it touches me even once. And then it's game over for the whole level. All right, jump. <laughs> jump, <laughs> jump, let go. Okay, where's the, where is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I out of range? Okay. Quick. Right. Carefully now. Be careful. Careful, careful. careful. Oh. Right, get relatively close to him. And then try to snipe those weak points. Don't let him hit you with his magic. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. It's gonna give me a clean shot. No, I've gotta do this the proper way. But they're still shielded, aren't they? Hang on. Be calm, be calm. Five left. Save him, save him, save him. Right, hang on. Sword, I need my sword. Sword, 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 sword. Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Did I not drop it? Fuck. I've got to do this with a dagger? I'll never land. Okay, watch it. What choice do I have? Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, fuck, jump. Don't let him touch me, don't let him touch me. What? Oh. Damn it, where'd the dagger go? Now I'm unarmed. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, wait, another dagger. Okay, here I go. There, get it on his bum bum. No! Oh, fuck. 
What the fuck? No! Oh god! Shit fuck, shit fuck. How much health do I have? Some, but not much. Can I sneak by and jump and... What the... Ah, god. I need my actual sword. Something with some range on it. Fuck. What happened to it? Careful. Climb him. Is that a thing? Is that what the, the holding bits are for? You can actually grab him? It's gonna be nause and nauseating. He's gonna use his magic. Jump. Jump. Come on. There we go. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Now's a really bad time to get stuck. No, 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 if he even hits me, touches me one more time. Get close and close. Fuck, no, 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 no. Yes. Okay. So I can't see any glowy things that could freeze him. All right. <laughs> I'll never hit it. I'll never hit that. Fuck it. Whip! <gasps> Damn it. I'm just gonna stay where I could duck a total fucking coward. No. Is it one hour left? Did it say. Hang on. One hour left. Mm. What do I do? Fuck. Above me? Oh, damn it, it is above me. I need more arrows to get that. Okay. I can do this, I can do this. Go, go, go. Drop that preemptively. Okay. Come on, grab it, grab it. There. Nope, don't get hit by it. Right. Stop, go there. Right, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Come on. Jump, for Christ's sake. Jump, for Christ's sake. So I've got to play this safe. The other quiver is up there, you see? So let him come around here, then I'll climb up there. Unless I just leg it that way, hang on. Look for another quiver of arrows. Right, up we go. Oh wow. Uh, okay, hang on. Shit! Oh, hold, 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 hold. Woo! <laughs> this is fun. Oh. Fucking nerve wracking though, but it's fun. <laughs> grab, grab, grab. Yeah! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Yeah. Alright. Now. Come on. Cheeky little bastard. Okay, can I hit that from here with the arrows? Get closer. One. Oh, no! Fuck. Yes! Oh, I got lucky. I got real lucky. Okay. Carefully. Drop. Drop. Lowest you can go without taking full damage. Okay. Find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Did I get him? Huh? Can I grab it? Grab him? Oh my god, that's nauseating. Don't let him... Grab. Grab. Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna puke! Oh, I'm gonna puke! I'm gonna... Oh god! 
<laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Fuck! 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 fuck. <laughs> oh god! Okay. Fuck! Where's my bow? Let's fuck my bow! Hang on. Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! No! 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 Jump! Oh. Bow, 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 bow. This bow! This bow! Okay! Okay! okay. Right. Come on, that had to have been a hit. Fuck. Oh no, I'm going to miss. Oh. Fuck. Okay, from above. My best chance of getting it. Right. Fuck, I'm sweating. Oh, no. So that's covered in a shield. I can't touch it. No, 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 don't lose it. No, I, I needed the fuck. <laughs> oh shit, are you kidding? All right. Okay, jump, fuck, miss. Never mind. Right. Yeah, give me. <laughs> this is fucking great. Hang on. No, 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 you rocky fucker. No, no. Give me a clean shot. I just need a clean shot. No, 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 no. That's my desk. Hang on. No! Oh, Jesus. If I had a melee weapon, this might be easier. What did I even do with my sword? Where did it even go? Hang on. Right. I'm sure YouTube is full of amazing videos of people doing trick shots and shit taking this motherfucker out and then here I am flailing around like a fucking lunatic. Come on. Ouch, that's my own head. Oh no. They're all on its back, you see. But, ow. How many hours do I have? What does that say? Two? Damn it! Okay, what do I do? Throw an arrow like a javelin. <laughs> uh, do I have any melee weapon at all? Tribal bow? No, I've got nothing. I've got to get on its back. Huh. What about up here? Is there anything I can find? Can scavenge. Run this way. Grab. Jump. There you go. What's this? Just another bow? Nothing. Okay, he's still busy. Alright, jump. Jump. Okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. Watch it. Should be fine, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm all good. Right, nothing except an arrow, which I'll take. What's up there? What's this up here? Is this anything? Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! Ah, does this save me? No! I ran into it because I'm stupid! No! That's the last of my health! Oh my god, I got nothing! Okay. Oh no! Man! I should have bought more than one healing potion. Sword was dropped to the entrance, left side. Was it? Fuck. Jesus, he was way tougher than the other two. All oh, right, now now you just fucking Oh shit. Oh 
shit. Anyway, um, <laughs> fuck. What's the time? Um, I probably don't have time to redo the whole thing and my VR legs probably won't let me. Nah. Oh, fuck. Anyway. Bugger, bugger me. Hi, Lulu. Are you right, honey? Sorry, was I floating around being weird? Hi. Hang on, just gonna sit down. Hi. How are you doing, beautiful? Right, um, I'll probably leave it there, folks, if that's okay. The repair guy is coming in about half an hour or so. Hello. And, um, yeah, I need to... Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit um, nauseous. Right. Use the wall crystals. Uh, I ran right under one. But there's a shield on it, Wilson. Like, uh, I can't get through the shield. Only the ones that are unshielded. Hmm. Hi. Hello, Lulu. The dog... Okay, so I'm sitting on the sofa and the dog is, like, here. You can probably hear her. Yes. You being cute? Are you okay? You being cute? Yeah, she's a happy girl. Um, right, so this afternoon... I'm going to crack on with Helldivers 2 bullshittery. I'm hoping that by... So I'm going to work the weekend. Um, I'm hoping that by Sunday, I should have the video end-to-end -end edited and be entering quality assurance. So that's the plan. Hi. So you could go. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's what I'm going to go do. So beyond that, uh, yeah, not, not a huge amount going on. I'm sure I'll be around this evening. I missed a crystal on the wall. Did I? Uh, hello? Okay. There was one without a shield. Hmm. I need to destroy the wall crystals to unlock the crystals on the golem. Okay, I must have just missed it. I, I thought that uh, the game was saying I had to attack it directly. Hmm. Right. Yes, more potions next time. More potions. Right. So have a lovely, uh, have a lovely afternoon. Let me have a look and see. Hang on. Are my clan mates doing anything? That might be interesting. Hang on. Open up the overlay, lift this up off my forehead. Thank you, AnipexD, Mr. Fay, Alistair, hi there, Alistair, Krakens, Noliant, and Aussie Exile. Right, hang on. Go here, scoot over here. The afternoon. All right, Bavin is on. What's Bavin doing? Bavin is. He's currently playing with. I'm guessing this is probably Magic the Gathering cards. Right, I will leave you with Bavon. And uh, he will explain what he's doing. So have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Hope to see you again soon. This is Zeref Bavon.